Okay, welcome back to Knowledge Talks, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Ami Host Park Al Barwani, along with our studio engineer DJ Saleh and Masouri, with you here live today on Oman Radio FM 90.4. This is a weekly entertainment and knowledge sharing program at live specifically to share with you topics that contribute knowledge to the society. Every week, Knowledge Talks hosts and invites guests that are experts, professional, and leaders and entrepreneurs from the field that bring wealth of knowledge to you. Now here at Knowledge Talks as well, we highlight and promote talents in the country that contribute knowledge and success to the nation. Now, from home cooking with business to uh, uh, in, uh, from home cooking with family to business, in kitchen to some of the companies locally today and globally tomorrow, inshallah. Who is he? Nadir Muhammad Al Aisri, also known as Jay Berg. Nader Al Aisri is an Omani chef, also known as. Jay Berg comes from a family that loves creating food. His first inspiration in the kitchen was with his beloved mother, who he learned most of his basics from his late uncle Aziz Amr Al Masruri. Cooking is Nader's number one passion. Nader is my guest today at Knowledge Talks. He will be sharing with us his successful journey of cooking where he took the passion from home, left his official employee working style to become an entrepreneur and his future plans that includes catering for the world. Now what cooking means to him? How does he overcome challenge of not being an employee? And what is the next in the world of cooking? Well, Nas, uh, well Nader J. Berg is with here today on Knowledge Talks. Nader, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you doing today? Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Nader, you know, not only you're a, a good friend of mine, not only we uh, also uh, worked together in, 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 in an organization, you are a talk of town. Do you know that? Um, <laughs> people say so. If they want to say so, then... then you then. are, Nader. Not only that. First thing, uh, I would like to take this opportunity to wish you a happy birthday and Thank many, you. many happy returns. Thank you very much, Tara. What's your birthday plans today? Um, I think I'm going to go back home and cook for the family. I love that. Yes, and uh, some friends uh, will come and join me too. MashaAllah. Am I invited? Sure. You, I brought you food here. Right? I love that. It looks <laughs> delicious. It looks yummy. And in fact, I look forward. And I know DJ Saleh Masuri over there is very, very happy to see you. And he is too looking forward to come and have the burgers and, 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 and the, the delicious food that you have. Could you please share with us a bit of uh, each of these that you, you brought us with? It? I look them delicious. They're very colorful. Yes. But if you can share them. Um, I brought a little bit of uh, canapes for you. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, the famous uh, Vulvant pastries. Yummy. Then we have some in tuna, egg, and um, chicken. Okay. I also made uh, the famous uh, mini burgers. Yummy. Yes. And uh, of course, the very well known mini shawarma that I make. Masha Allah, so Masha Allah. I, I basically trying to make everything in a smaller size i love this this is delicious i love what you do this is art this is uh, this is everything uh, uh nader mashallah in fact uh, uh i was very much looking forward you know a lot of people have been speaking very very big mashallah even during the days when you were which we're going to touch on it today uh, during the program when you were working in in an organization as an employee when you're you're serving these uh, sandwiches and and these delicious food that you have mashallah this, this is quality you know uh, this is this is this is this is this is quality now tell me one thing uh uh these ones you do them everything by yourself from scratch is it of course except for the bread i don't bake the bread okay uh, i have different suppliers who serve me different kind of bread so i basically okay. tell them what are my needs and okay they supply them Okay, I, I love that. that that's, that's its whole uh, world, uh, mashallah, uh, b b by itself. Now, uh, uh, Jay Berg. Yes. That is a brand that many people tell. I know a number of my friends who got, uh, I know, you know, Fadil, Yudur Khalfan, and Maharazi. Yes, yes. Both of them are telling me, Jay Berg, Jay Berg. But I'm telling you, no, it's Nader. I know. They said, no, Tarek, it's Jay Berg. Could you please tell us about the, the, the name, Jay Berg? Well, uh, you know. Um I was raised with uh, many years of hip hop uh, music and okay. R and B, and it's the influence. Yeah. So um, a lot of music uh, influence came into it, 
Yes. But uh, my friends and cousins and family used to call me J J J J. Yeah. And um, I said I wanted to make it look like a full name, so I okay. put the the word Berg from iceberg. Okay. So J Berg came in, and a- and it's a brand. It's a brand. In fact, <laughs> let me tell you one thing. I saw uh, uh, Salem Ghalib. Yes. Salem Ghalib has got. Uh, He's, he's, he's SG. a popular SG, yeah. the popular SG. In fact, yes, uh, my boy, he, yeah. he, he, he was he was one of the people who one of the fans who read about you and they were happy and you know the thumbs up. Yeah, today Nader J Bag is going to be on yes, air. Yes. In fact, let me tell you one thing: a lot of people like what you're doing. A lot of people love what you serve, and a lot of people love you too. I love you too. Alhamdulillah. Thank you very much. <laughs> so so and they I love were, everyone around. They, they were happy to see you uh, uh, coming on, on the show today to speak about the things that you've done and the great things and your experience and the challenges that you've gone uh, through. Uh, I've seen you as one of his videos, by the way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to tell everyone. You, you, Nobody you, recognized that. And, no, no, but, uh, but I'll tell you one thing. That shows you're multi-talents. You're doing a number of things. Yes, you know? yes. Yeah, so, so, yeah, so, I what, love the show business. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mashallah. Now, we're going to take a quick break while we have these burgers. I know uh, DJ Masrur is looking at me at the side and say, Tarek, let's have the burgers. Let's enjoy them as we continue our Please come in today. and have them while they are very hot, yeah? Great. Nader, that was delicious. Masha Allah. I know there's a number of people who are listening to us and they're missing this. And then you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be posting uh, uh, this delicious food that you have here. The sandwiches, the burgers, the shawarma. I'm going to be posting it uh, online, inshallah, after the show. Uh, the picture of it so people can see the the, the beauty and for them to feel it of course they'll need to contact you which you will need to share that during the program today Definitely. i loved it i know dj um, uh, saleh masruri loved it as well and he would like to get the others but dj saleh please i want i have to take some at home as well <laughs> okay tell me tell me one thing jayberg mm-hmm. you want me call me jayberg or just call or me nader nader, nader yes, yes. Yeah, all right so so so, so tell me one thing now t- let's start with the burger i saw the burger it had the, the cheese and the beef That's mm-hmm. what, that was the only two things that it had, but it tasted very, very good. I loved it. Thank I loved you. it. MashaAllah. Now, how do you do this? Do you actually cook it from scratch? Do you get the beef from McDonald's or something? I know you don't. <laughs> I'm just asking. I'm, please treat me as naive as much as you can. I don't know about food. Yes. Um, basically, it's, uh, of course, it's fresh. We get mm. uh, fresh minced meat. Okay. And it's beef. Okay. And... Uh, and we just mix uh, the beef with uh, the secret sauce that we have okay and uh you usually keep it uh, for a while till it marinates uh, properly mm-hmm. and we bake it and mm-hmm. uh, we don't fry our burgers okay it's grilled okay so it's oven baked yeah. okay or even a bit char grilled and mm-hmm. then oven to just make make sure it's cooked well okay and we just serve it and of course we just use normal ch- cheddar cheese okay a little bit mayonnaise yeah Um, of course, like you see for the, you know, for the presentation, we put uh, a little bit of a gherkin, which mm. some people call it a baby pickle, mm-hmm. and cherry tomatoes. Okay. Basically. Beautiful. Tomatoes. And what about the shawarma? Um, the shawarma basically is a, it's a mini pita bread, mini mm-hmm. Lebanani bread. Okay. Um, we have it in meat and chicken also. Okay. Uh, we try to use uh, local meat and local chicken. Mm-hmm. Um, well, uh, and of course... We just add some of our ingredients and again some the secret formulas. Of you know, course. like the coke and everything. They've got the secret <laughs> formula that makes it delicious. But I tell you one thing, I love this. This is delicious. This is nice. And ladies and gentlemen, the only thing I'm gonna tell you is that if you're gonna try this, you're gonna understand and feel what I feel right now. I feel cool. You feel I blessed. Feel, <laughs> I feel blessed. I feel yeah, great. And, and and the best part of it, I got an opportunity to take this thing all with me at home today. And of course, we've got the the studio engineers to try them as well. Now, now tell me one thing. Uh, I know now, I've tested it, First, I know about it, I heard about it, people speak about it. You, Nader, mashallah, you've done a great uh, success with the, the with this, I will use the word product for it, but uh, uh, now let's go back and know, how did you start? I would love to know, how did you start cooking and what made you get into cooking? Bismillah Um In terms of, uh, there's two parts of the story. Mm-hmm. There is the business part, which is what you see now. Mm-hmm. And uh, there was the passion, the mm-hmm. hunger to start. Okay. Um, it started out as a, honestly speaking, it started out as a hobby. Uh-huh. Um, I never liked to, 
I never would like to wait for the housemaid to prepare the food for me. So I said, uh, instead of that, I will do it myself. Okay. And um, so I can be more creative the way I want to. And it started about the age of uh, 12, 13 years uh -huh. old. Mashallah, mashallah. Yes. Okay. And um, as I was younger in the summertime, we used to go to my uh, uncle's place, uh, the late Aziz al Masrouri, And uh, he was the only man that, I'd saw, that I've seen in my life who was, um, who was a chef back in the time. Okay. And... Um, he was he he influenced me with a lot of seafood a lot mm. of meat okay um, i never used to like seafood okay um specifically things like um, shrimps and all that mm. shellfish yeah. but um after his influence uh, i guess it's the way he prepared them and um uh, and that's how it just went on and then i went to malaysia i studied in malaysia for a couple of years and again as a student of course you can't afford eating outside every day mm -hmm. Um, and I, I'm not I'm not really a fan of junk food mm. I never was mm. but um, so I started cooking myself and, mm. and then of course the friends came you know at the end mm. of the month usually students are a bit kind of broke so mm. <laughs> I used to cook for them mashallah uh, men and women mm. either Omani and non Omanis mm -hmm. so um, and it just kept on going on and then when I came to Oman it slowed down a bit Mm -hmm. You know, the scene of restaurants uh, back in 2001, mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't that much booming, mm -hmm. like how it is today. Okay. Um, and People like to go out and eat, eh? Yes. Okay. But now, this, yeah. is, the, this is the time for Oman. Okay. Because, you know, the tourism and all that is yeah. kind yeah, of expanding. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, um, li but from 2001 almost until 2000, and I would say 2011, mm -hmm. it was just for family and friends mm. and you know just favors after favors you know barbecues events mm. but then i was i was like you know what i will let me take this seriously so mm. i was i was going for a lot of trips around the world mm -hmm. um, in europe in america far east asia mm. i mean th that's where most of the chefs are yeah. and i've learned from different chefs mm -hmm. and back in 2000 and uh, 12 if i recall mm -hmm. i was in a in an island called uh, tenerife canary islands in spain okay so i worked there with a chef so i went there for the wow. first visit okay and i just met them and i took a you know just a tour about how you know in spain they have a different way of uh, they have this gastronomy thing going on mm -hmm. and they're very you know they're, they're really much into the eyes eat before the mouth mm -hmm. so they really believe in that phrase yeah. And from then onwards, I came back to Oman and I started a, this small business through um, uh, Ministry of Commerce. They have this thing called uh, home business. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. I started and you, it's, it's basically something really legit and you register and so forth. And mm -hmm. uh, the municipality comes home and check your kitchen and if it's safe enough for okay. you to. Oh, so, so how, home, home business? Yes. Wow. Yes. Okay. Okay. So they came and they checked everything and I prepared. So I of course i asked my father i live in my father's house yeah so i was like um you know i would use the parking space to build the kitchen i love that uh, he's like are you serious i'm mm -hmm. like yes i am serious so i built the the kitchen mm -hmm. and prepared it and the municipality came back again and they checked the place and they're like yeah you're ready to go i love that okay. and at the same time i was working in a very famous uh, telecom company in mm -hmm. Oman, where mm -hmm. you work mm -hmm. currently <laughs> Um, so I was doing both. Yeah. I was waking up at five o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And now this is now I'm talking now moving from the passion and hobby into the business. Yeah. Um, so five o'clock in the morning, I'd wake up and prepare the breakfast for customers mm -hmm. who want their breakfast mm -hmm. or also marination for people mm -hmm. who wanted lunch. Mm -hmm. And I hired a few assistants to help me in that. Mm -hmm. So everything was me, but then they just had to put things in the oven and prepare mm -hmm. the, the boxes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I did that for a year and a half just mm -hmm. to test and see the market. Is mm -hmm. there, you know, what is the feedback from people? How can I correct myself? Mm -hmm. And I waited till the right time and the right time came in. Um, mm -hmm. And I got an opportunity from the Rafid Fund, okay. Sanduq Rafid, which is under the Ministry of Commerce. Mm -hmm. And um, I went for it. I got the opportunity. I applied. It took time. I waited for it. While you were working for the t While for the I was working. Mm -hmm. But then they had the rule that if you wanted to get, uh, for you to get this loan, you need to resign. Okay. I thought about it a million So you need to resign in order to get uh, the support from Rafael? Yes, yeah? if you're working in a company. Yeah. 
And if you're not working, they give if you, you yeah, if you if you work for a ministry in like uh, in the government uh, organizations, you can you can stay. They can give you one year off work, one year f- uh, off. If it's in the government sector. Yeah, but um, in, private in the sector? private sector, it also depends on what company you work for. Oh, okay. Yeah, but for for my case, I I just said that I I really need to be there. Yeah. You know, especially yeah. in this business. Um, I mean, it's not that I'm just hiring someone to cook for me. I really need to be there. Okay. In the events, in the cooking, from A to Z, yeah, yeah. until the business is really standing up on its feet. That's that's what I call detail-oriented imperfection. Exactly. I'm, yeah. I'm mostly into quality rather than quantity. Mashallah, mashallah, yes. mashallah. That's and, very uh, good. Because when I cook, I feel like I'm cooking it for myself rather Wonderful. than just, just selling it for people. I love that. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what I call quality. That's what I call detail-oriented. That's what I call also excellent leadership. Uh, if you look at that, if you if you if you, if you look at this as a business that sells products i think mashallah nader is doing a fantastic because not that only he sells for you a product but he ensures that it is quality so well mashallah well done nader uh, you 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 you're a great example i'm sure role model to many people role model to me too <laughs> yeah <laughs> thank you very so much. you left the company now you have your own business yes now you do employ people to join up yeah so um soon we soon? will soon we will um how do i send my cv <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, we, we will open the applications very soon good I, I, we, I, I, I'll, I'll look for it because you know yeah. uh, we, we, we are like uh, many others there that are thinking to open up our own business but you are an example who you took the plunge and mashallah Thank you're you. out there I know it's a big time. risk it's a big risk a lot of people think about honestly speaking it's the first step yes the first step is the hardest step yeah but once you put your foot down mm-hmm. and you say you know what this is what I want to do yeah. I mean, uh, we only live once. Yeah. You only live once in life. So I don't want to wait till I'm at the age of 50 or 60 until I can be able to to start a business. Yeah. When when I'm, I ran out of energy, this mm-hmm. is the time for me. That's I'm 30 years old, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, and this is a time when I can really work hard and put my energy and mm-hmm. use my brains and be creative. Mashallah. Yeah. And, Mashallah. And of, of course, from the experiences that I've had in life and yeah. in my career. Yeah. I think uh, this is the time when I should put my energy into my own business rather than mm. someone else. I respect that fully. We're going to take a quick break while uh, DJ Abdullah Badri just arrived right now. DJ Abdullah Badri, we've got some very delicious things over here. The, uh, the, the, this is from Nader himself, from his own cooking. Let's have the, the great burgers and shawarmas and sandwiches here as we, con- we will take a quick break and continue our program. Yummy, yummy, yummy. That's all what I can say. I mean, that's little of what I can say for this delicious uh, uh, food that you have here for us, uh, Nader, mashallah. Thank you very much, Tan. Now, 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 uh, Nader, tell me one thing. Now, I have tested it. The studio engineers have tested it. It's delicious. It's yummy. Mashallah. It's very, very good. You are an example of a, a successful entrepreneur. You are an entrepreneur that for sake that you've worked in a business, you worked in a company, you left, you started your own business, mashallah, and it's a business that you do it from home, yes. and it works very, very well. And sure. it is, so are, so people can make businesses from home, right? They've got a talent, they can do it from home. Oh, yes, there is a lot of people who started this business. Okay. Um, I mean, home business per home, se. Home business, yes. Uh, there's a lot of people who do, especially food and clothing. Okay, what about technology? Um, I'm not really sure about that. I've got a technology. I know how to create software and everything. I can <laughs> just more start something from home, you know? Yeah, why not? I mean, people like, I think, uh, Steve Jobs started at home. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so. from a garage. Yes. And you know one thing? You have done the same thing from a garage. Exactly. Inshallah ta'ala, <laughs> tomorrow we will see Jay Berg or Jay, uh, Jay uh, Jobs, <laughs> Nader for me, Nader Al-Isri, mashallah, Nader min Oman, mashallah, who is going to create a great spot for Oman all over the world and Thank that is you. in cooking inshallah. Thank you very much. Do you think about creating an institute for teaching people how to cook? Um, in the in the future um, okay. because um, I was uh, I just came back from the UK. I was okay. in London. Okay. And uh, before that I was in Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. So I took these short courses okay. of, um, uh, of culinary arts. So basically okay. we were cooking. The first course was uh, gave me uh, a proper image on how to work in a how the restaurant operation works. Okay. Despite the fact I've worked in different restaurants. Here in Oman? Or in Oman. Uh, and abroad as well. And and also in Canary that, Islands. That gives you an international experience. Yes. Mashallah. But uh, I wanted to see it uh, in America because in America it's about mass production. 
you oh, know okay, okay, so yeah. so I, when, when i went to america i've seen especially in catering you'll be mm. dealing a lot with mass production yeah, yeah. and anything can go wrong so you need yeah. to have a backup plan yeah you know things yeah. can get spoiled things can get burned things yeah. can fall delivery mm. anything can happen but the customer doesn't need to know about that mm. Mm. i am supposed to be fully responsible about that part okay. yeah. so i went and i took a course in uh, los angeles for that and then um, also i came to i went to london and i've uh, taken a few uh, courses mm -hmm. in the culinary arts and mainly it was about the taste of Asia so okay. it gave me an insight of uh, Indian food mm -hmm. uh, Chinese Japanese mm -hmm. Malay mm -hmm. and so forth um, so in terms of teaching people yeah. um, of course I, I really think um, transferring knowledge is something very important in yeah. our community and society yeah. uh, myself uh, learning this food came from a lot of uh, influence of older people in the generation mm -hmm. whether they are men or women mm -hmm. Uh, mostly women mm -hmm. uh, they are the ones who transferred the knowledge of how to cook different mm -hmm. dishes mm -hmm. and of course i don't copy paste mm -hmm. I, i i just just innovate I, yes innovate and yeah. trying to uh, present it in a way that can be commercial okay you know? not too commercial yeah but uh, maintain the home food kind of flavor yeah. and taste yeah. but then again present it in a way that uh, very professional and you know very attractive to the eye yeah as if as you can see in my pictures on instagram and yep. how yep. people would like to see it and you know tourists are coming to oman and mm. they would like to taste omani food honestly yep. speaking if you ask me uh, if i travel anywhere and i want to taste the local food i would try street food mm -hmm. but then again if you go to a street food store you know the heat here does not really help to have mm. food in the street that mm. much mm. unless of course like which i really wanted to have was uh, the, the catering van Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Remember you asked me before about the movie mm. The Chef. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. The yes. catering van. Yes. Um, at the moment, I've I've asked about it. Okay. At the municipality, mm -hmm. and uh, they said it's uh, they they're looking into that uh, mm. being uh, uh, legalized in the, like in Oman and all mm. that. Yeah. They they had they had them before like for popcorns and uh, yeah. softy ice, ice cream and so forth. Yeah, yeah. But they stopped it. I I don't know why. But some of them say we really need to maintain the, and monitor the hygiene. Oh, okay. So they're looking into that, and that would be my next plan. Inshallah, well, that would be nice. Yes. It'd be very nice to see another Asri's vans up. Yes, Mashallah. yes, yes. yes. Uh, 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 now, uh, anyone in your family uh, or home does cooking? I believe your mom does, right? Yeah, my late mother. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, late mother. Uh, anyone else does it? Um, well, not much. Not much. Okay. No, no, not one. I mean, my, my aunts do, but uh, mm. my siblings, uh, they try to. Okay. But they mostly depend on me. Okay, yeah, because uh, that's what we all depend. Someone yeah. knows how to cook, we just go there and eat, yeah? <laughs> but, yes. But, mashallah. Now tell me then, how can someone reach you? Now, w people know about you. Yes. So, uh, some people have, from the audience right today have listened about yes. uh, uh, what you have here. And I tell you one thing, everyone, this is delicious. Thank you. Now, how can one reach you how can we reach you nadir okay um like you uh, like you understand i've started my business through social media okay um a lot of uh, women who were working with me at work who tried my food they were like the best way for you to advertise yourself is instagram okay and um i i, I never had instagram before i had facebook okay but they were like instagram is the thing and you know you need to open an account and try mm. And my my sister also told me the same thing. So I I have, I I opened the page, and, and that's how it boomed. That's how an Instagram started. account. Yes. Could you please share with us the Instagram account? The it's called Tanzanite underscore Nader, and um, uh, the, the, the basically the account I started putting professional pictures. Okay. First of all, I started with normal pictures. Mm -hmm. Then I found a photographer. Um, uh, his name is Ali Asharji. Okay. He, he he is a very good photographer. Okay. Of course, it was my ideas, but he is a, he he can edit things and you know how photographers yeah. make things look pretty and all mm. that. Under your creativities on yes. how you want it to be. Yes. Yeah. So I tell him we work hard, we argue a lot. You know, yeah. he's an artist, I'm an artist, so yeah. everybody wants to bring their own uh, thing to the table. Yeah. But then again, um, we come up with a conclusion and we put those pictures that you see. Oh, lovely, yes, lovely. And we usually post pictures uh, just before lunchtime. Mm -hmm. That's when people are really hungry and running for their break. <laughs> and I also one of the things that I used to post that really boost helped me boost up my business was the lunch boxes. Mm -hmm. 
when I was working with you in the same organization, I was uh, catering to the executives of the company, wow. the Exco. Wow. And basically, it started from from there, um, the executive lunchbox. So basically, the executive lunchbox is a is a meal, uh, a four course meal with dessert, with uh, um, with a drink, and uh, salad. And uh, every day we would change it for you, nice. okay, according to what what is your needs. And um, because they were elder people, so I had to be very uh, careful with the, of course, you know, they have pressure and all mm. that kind yeah. of thing. So the yeah. salt and, and spices. Oh, I love that. So, so for, for the lunchbox, basically, it's, it's really good for people. They don't need to look for a parking mm-hmm. to go out. And, you know, we bring the full lunchbox to your table. Yummy. Yeah, okay. So, so wow. it, and it works for all corporates, for a lot of organizations, people who have meetings and so forth, and they don't want to run from office to office, you know, f- canteens and so forth. We bring it directly to your table. So you do it till now? I do it till now, but I don't take small quantities. Okay. Of course, Very good. my order starts from 100 reals and above. Okay. And uh, that's for corporates and privates. Oh, that's very good. Yes, yes. Very but good. we can we can work out um, something different. Mm-hmm. But um, I mean, if you don't want the four course meal, if you think it's too much, we can have a two course meal, like okay. a starter and a main course, or you know, so forth. Okay. Oh, that's very nice. That's yes. very nice. Uh, and 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 you're very happy you took the decision of leaving the company that you work for to start your own business, of being course. your own boss. Of course. Of there course. you go, I ladies mean, and gentlemen. I, I mean, I mean, you see, working in an organization. Um, of course you have a stable salary yeah okay that's what people have the fear of leaving mm-hmm. you know i will i would forget the stable sta- salary yeah. but then again business there is um there's a good day there's a really bright day yeah and there are days that um they move a bit slow okay so you really need to know how to manage yourself yeah and uh, how to promote you know the marketing and so forth and yeah. of course um how 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 you maintain your customers and mm. what is your strategy yeah. what do you serve to people yeah. what do people want you need to understand what people need mm. i don't just cook anything just because i feel it's good yeah. i try it out in the market for no, example like let's take the mini shawarma yeah um it's the last thing i've ever expected and the mini burgers yeah. to be a hit in the market mm-hmm. but uh, once I, s- i started selling them and so forth um, i was surprised yeah. and then again you have to test the market and see what what is the feedback and what is the demand from people yeah, I, reason why i think it's because the size you see people when they go to events and so forth they don't want something that's big and chunky or to yeah. dirty their clothes either men women or children yeah. they want something easy so you can taste everything you know mm. you know something tiny you can taste this this that yeah. and um mm. i think <laughs> exactly <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it worked for me In fact, if you look at this plate right now, all the burgers are finished and you've got only two pieces of the shawarmas. Yes. That itself can it says big. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, you need to try these burgers. I tried it. Our studio engineer have tried it and it's yummy. That's what I can say about it. It's yummy. Uh, uh, y- your business is known as Tanzanite. Tanzanite Nader. T- t- Tanzanite Nader. Yes. Tell us about Tanzanite Nader. Well, uh, Tanzanite basically is a gemstone. People uh, seem to mistake it with different other <laughs> things. Mm. Like it, what? Uh, like Tanzania and uh, Tanzania night and so forth. Yeah. yeah, by the way, <laughs> yeah, but uh, that's what I, I'm, I'm one of those people. Yes, so I do understand. Okay. So Tanzanite is a gemstone. Okay. It's a blue gemstone that looks like a diamond. And it's only found in Tanzania okay. uh, or, um, in a place called Arusha. Okay. And uh, that stone itself, they, they take it. Yeah. And of course, they shape it in Europe. Yeah. And then they sell it triple the price somewhere around the world. Mm-hmm. Um, so... The name Tanzanite occurred to me after I went to Dubai. Okay. For a trip with uh, actually my friend SG. Okay. So we went to a coffee shop and he asked me to bring the iPad. So as I was walking towards the coffee shop the first time, I felt something really glittering on my uh, on my right. Mhm. And uh, it's a jewelry store. I don't okay. really go to jewelry stores. I have nothing to buy from there. Okay. So I went f- so I passed by the shop the first time. I felt something shiny, but I didn't look at it. So the second time I pers- I passed by and uh I just I just still didn't look at it. The third time I I looked at the gemstone and I went close and they were really really glowing these two mm. big earrings. Yeah. So I went next to the sto- uh, next to the glass and I wanted to take a picture. Okay. And the guy at the store, the jeweler, he hit the uh, the glass and he's like, "Don't take a picture. Can't you see the logo? You're not allowed to take a picture." Mm-hmm. So I went into the store, he's like, uh, "What were you interested in?" I was like, "The the blue earrings." Mhm. 
So um, I went close and he showed me those earrings and I said, uh, what kind of diamonds are these? Mm -hmm. he, was, he was like, this is not a diamond, it's a gemstone. I was like, wow, what do you call it? He's like, this is Tanzanite. Wow. I'm like Tanzanite referring to Tanzania. Tanzania. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I'm like, oh, I never knew Tanzania had something like this. <laughs> so um, he, he, he explained this to me and so forth. And um, I asked him how much were they? They were about uh, 32,000 riyals. Yeah. The two big gemstones. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And I was like, just for this? He's yeah. like, yeah. So, and at that time, I was looking for a name to start a business. Mm. And I just liked the name, and the name just kept on clicking my head the whole mm. weekend Tanzania. in Dubai. And then yeah. I came back to Oman. I started asking a few friends and a few older people in the family who knew what was Tanzanite mm. and women who buy a lot, a lot of jewelry. Yeah. They understand what is Tanzanite. Mm -hmm. So, um, from then onwards, it just uh, the name I, I tried it out the first time of course yeah. you know the normal sarcasm people started yeah, yeah, yeah. but then people liked it and I like it thank you very it, much it looks very nice it's, it's unique by the way yes yeah. so um, from then onwards it just went on and alhamdulillah Mashallah. and then here we Mashallah. are today yeah. doing what we need to do best so that's your business name Tanzanite Nadab Al Tanzanite Al Nadar in Ta Arabic Tanzanite Al Nadar yes lovely it is Tanzanite Al Nadar ladies and gentlemen what does it take to cook? Um, it depends. You see, I love A, B, C. Okay. A, which is uh, the customer will call and will place the order. Mm -hmm. B, I prepare the food. Mm -hmm. C, deliver, eat, and pay me the bill. Now that's good. That, well, 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 very lean, very and nice simple process. Mashallah. I don't have to wait for any approvals and board yeah. members and meetings yeah. and I'm productive and you know just. Simple. I love that. One, two, three, and we out. That's that's business, ladies and gentlemen. Make it simple, of course. Be look at perfection, being being perfectionate. Don't look. I like statements that Nader has said today. It's not about the quantity, but it's about the quality. Yes. Nader is a quality. Tell me about your menus. Uh, my menu is online um, at www.tanzanite-bites.com. Okay. Um, I've created the menu and I've tried to mix a little bit. Uh, of course, uh, I try my level best not to forget the Omani culture. Mm -hmm. I put a little bit of Omani food, a little bit of Eastern African, you know, a lot of uh, meals that are here in Oman are East, from Eastern Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, the influence from Zanzibar and so forth. And also you have the Indian influence the, and Pakistani food. And then I put a little bit of touch of uh, French, Italian and uh, European a little bit here and there. Yeah. So everybody can get a, you know, whatever you are looking for, you can try and taste. And also I, I really take it. Um, take a lot of care of people who are diabetic mm -hmm. um, people who, are, who have blood pressure yeah. people who are allergic to dairy dairy products yeah. people who are allergic to nuts okay so all these things we do ask our customers i mean if we have anything in those we tell them this has this this has that yeah. so they should be careful you know we you don't want anyone to be into uh, such thing and we also have some meals that we're going to have in some shakes for the like they call them the gym junkies oh nice the people nice. who go to the gym again it's not diet food it's just yeah. healthy food okay it's just clean food and you know like one of the main concepts of my business we never fry anything oh nice specifically yeah. deep frying okay you know um no offense but uh, the women in our community in the middle east yeah they do not relax until they hear the the sound of the deep frying food you know <laughs> and so that's when they feel they are cooking yeah but uh, i'm here to change that perception okay um you know you can have grilled food it could taste even better and it's much healthier um you know people now right now are more health conscious and and we ha my role here is to give people the awareness of mm. how to eat clean food okay, okay rather than have junk food all the time and you know children sometimes don't the, you see some children don't want to eat it's because of the way you prepare the food and the way you present it to kids yeah when you present it in a in a way that that really attracts them they will eat it there's no yeah. kid that there are kids that say we don't eat fruits and vegetables yeah. but if they miss these things at this age right now mm. when they are much older yeah it's 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 loss it's a loss for them yeah so yeah. this is the age where you really need to feed your kids the right clean food Okay, yeah. that's really nice. Yeah. Now tell me one thing. D I, I noticed that uh, you have a, a, a very good product, that is the food. Very good. You have a 
very good vision, mashallah. And I, I, I respect that highly, Nader, mashallah. Thank you. And you've got a great service as well. Yes. Uh, how you are uh, with your customers, that mm -hmm. is us and people. Yes. And uh, I want to know one thing. Do you have, uh, do you take any uh, uh, trainings in business? That, you know, do you take any cores in business, managing a business or the like? Why am I asking that question is, uh, I noticed that you've got a very nice understanding. Nevertheless, for someone who wants to start a business, <coughs> is there anything you would like to advise? Or is that a criteria or a step that one needs to do before they go out and start a business? Well, to be honest, I've studied business. My background is business. Okay. Yeah, my, I have a bachelor's degree with honors in human resource management and administration, okay, okay, okay. which I Shall worked we? in the organization for almost... Uh, Nine years, okay. Five of which was uh, in customer HR. service, okay, some service, in. and uh, four was uh, in the HR in the HR department. I, which yeah. I took care of the performance management. Oh, very good, very yes, good. Yes. Yeah. I was a senior performance management specialist. Yeah, so I was taking care of that. But uh, when you say in terms of yes, we took a few courses mm. of um, how to lead a business and uh, how to be. Uh, an entrepreneur, entrepreneur like and so to, forth and yeah. how to run your business um i'll be honest with you there's one mm -hmm. thing that we really need to focus on when you have a business is your numbers the mm -hmm. accounts mm -hmm. you really yeah. need to focus on that part yeah uh, that, that that is i mean you can have good food good service and everything but numbers is very important yeah. thank god um, i have a good accountant friends oh very good yes, very good yes, yes. and i keep them very close to me too <laughs> very good that's very good so i feed them well and yeah. um <laughs> Uh, my my accountants they're the ones who advise me of when i can you know buy this don't do this when is the right time and yeah. and so forth yeah. especially that you got to fund uh, i mean from the uh, yes, uh, uh rafa yes. it's so, important for yes. you to show numbers and everything is exactly. that right they do come and knock in the door every of now course, and then of course is that but, how it works? Uh, but um i just uh, just got you know, just got the loan so they yeah. give you a period of one year and a half to pay back to pay back so okay. one year and a half until you start your business and then once you start, then you start paying. And it's a very small amount. Okay. Uh, you can take a longer period if you want to, but then you pay it by, you know, like installments, basically. How do you compare it with the bank? Um, of course, uh, of course, it's from the government. Okay. It's much less. Much less. Than okay. a commercial bank. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. That's uh, that's very, very good. Now, what challenges do you get as, a, as, as, a, as an entrepreneur? You're an entrepreneur right now, Nadal. Yes. Successful one, mashallah. What challenges do you get? Um... Challenges sometimes is uh, the people, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I am task and people oriented. Okay. However, like I said, it takes a lot at the beginning to give people the awareness and understanding. Because mm -hmm. um, what I understand here in the market, there's two things. There are people who, who want to have the, a big quantity, mm -hmm. the best quality, and they don't want to pay for it. Ouch. And that's the market. That's the, I'm the challenge you have right now. Uh, of course, on. I will not generalize. Yeah. But that's, yeah. there's a big chunk of that. Okay. Yeah. And, and it's okay for them to go to an international restaurant or coffee shop mm -hmm. and they would pay that amount and uh, they won't bargain or ask for a discount mm, but mm. i don't know maybe because i'm too friendly with them and they feel they're close to me so mm. when i give them something they have to ask for a discount okay <laughs> but okay. i mean i don't mind giving a discount but of course i also have to meet my you know i have to cover my costs yeah of course yeah yeah of course so I don't mind, but uh, again, if someone would ask for something in the highest quality mm -hmm. and the biggest quantity, yeah. you have to understand that you'll have to pay for it. Uh, for sure. There's nothing comes for free. Definitely. Exactly. It's like buying um, a Rolls Royce or buying a, a Kia. Yeah. You see, it's two big differences. True. If you're looking for quality, the image and all in the style, you have to pay for it. Yeah. And it's the same here. Yeah. It's, if you want something nice, something clean, something presentable, and you know the source of where it's coming from. Yeah. You know, you know who's the person cooking for you. Yeah. You know where is he, where he is cooking it. And um, I'm interacting with you. I'm advising you what to take. You know, sometimes some people, when they are hungry, they just order a lot. Yeah. But then when the food is there on the table, they just eat a little bit and the rest is thrown. Mm. And I don't mm. like seeing that. Yeah. Uh, I so I that. advise people. I ask them, how many people are you inviting? How many men? How many women? How many children? Mm. Of course, men eat more than women. Mm. And so you tell the customer, so they, you know, like, I'm, I just don't want to sell and make money. I, just, I want people not to throw that extra food. Yeah, I yeah, do understand yeah. some people take food with them back home, extra takeaways. But again, you don't want the food to be thrown. You know, like we have mm. this issue here in the Middle East of 
cooking a lot of food and then mm. the rest goes to the garbage and it and it's not fair where other okay. people around the world are looking for are food. suffering for that yeah. so uh, you have mm. to advise and tell them of course you want the food to be enough but you don't want the food to overflow in the table thank you mashallah and i, I respect that fully yes. and i really respect that fully and i can tell you one thing i've heard about you i've seen you i know you i respect you big neither mashallah today i've tasted it myself and this is yummy i'm no longer going to any of those junk food like McDonald's and everything <laughs> I go to Nader Thank ladies you. and gentlemen this is, an Omani. this is an Omani product ladies and gentlemen this is an Omani professional this is a product created in Oman uh, it's delicious it's yummy I tell you that I've tasted this and this is yummy you are going to be my favorite joint I tell you that thank you very much not only my best friend too <laughs> now tell me one thing before we end up the program for today what's your future plans future plans I'm working on my new restaurant okay and it'll be somewhere around town Oh, mashallah. Okay. Yes. Uh, so be ready for that. Mm-hmm. It's uh, it's it's going to be a very something very different in okay. town. Mm-hmm. Um, something that people would like to go. Okay. Um, uh, I would be honest with you. It won't, wouldn't be something uh, for children. It's going to mm-hmm. be something for adults. Okay. Somewhere you can come with your couple, people who are coming for business. Uh, of mm-hmm. course, we will have a proper business room where you can sit and have like a board meeting room. In. Oh, lovely. And all that kind of thing. That's nice. And uh, we will have uh, different things. And one of the things that you would have, which would be very special, would be the, the chef's table. Yummy. So even if the restaurant, inshallah, is fully booked, yeah. the only one who can give you that table is the chef. And you will dine privately with me. Oh, that's what I call business. That's yes. what I call quality. That's what I call unique. <laughs> Nadir, mashallah. Yep. Nadir, thank you You're very, very much for joining us today here on Oman Radio FM 90.4 to share about your entrepreneurial journey uh, into cooking and the success attained so far. Yes. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity to wish you the very, very best. Thank you very and much. All that you do, inshallah, for dunya wa lakhir, inshallah. Ameen, inshallah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of our program for this week. I hope you all had an intriguing time with us. Join us again next week at 5.30 p.m. with another Knowledge Talks. Ma salama.